<laughs> it's still early. And I can't really talk that early in my house because uh, it's still too early and uh, my partner's still asleep at that time. So, checking in now, day one of Booktubeathon, morning one of Booktubeathon, and I work full time. So, there's not a lot of reading that happens during the day. So, I always read in the morning and I always read after work. But for Booktubeathon, this is particularly challenging and uh, my focus is much more intensified just because I want to read more. I don't think I read all seven books last year for the same reason, uh, but my job last year was much more intense and I'm hoping that this year I at least read more than I did last year. That's like my own personal goal and I just wanna follow along with the challenges this year, so that will be interesting. I'm also really happy with my first book choice, which was chosen in the coin flip. And uh, I'm happy because it's a very quick, readable YA. And I like powered through a book last night because I wanted to start fresh for book two with on. So I was a little bit worried that I was gonna be like spent and not wanna dive into it. And I showed a little clip, but there's a lot of like, it looks like a screenplay, like the way that it's written and typed in the book looks like a screenplay. And I used to want to write those at some point in my life. So I also have this like nostalgia kind of feeling while reading this book. And it's kind of heavy, so it's nice to have that piece to it. So I'll check in tonight and let you know uh, how it goes. But I'm about 50 pages in from this morning. And I really like it. And I think I have the potential to finish it today and tonight. And tomorrow I picked a graphic novel for myself to like cut myself some slack. So yeah. <laughs> help it's been a long day <laughs> um, I did get a lot of reading done on the breaks that I had at work so I have probably like a hundred or so pages left of this book and I like it I do like it I just feel like I get grabbed emotionally pretty easily by books and I feel like this one just hasn't grabbed me like that yet. It's certainly not for lack of heavy content or something to emotionally connect with. I just don't know. I don't know if I like, there's, what I think the problem is, is I think there's a piece to the story that's going to happen that I haven't gotten to yet, but we're almost at the end of the book. So I'm just a little bit concerned. <laughs> a little bit worried that I like hyped this book up for myself too much just because I bought it so long ago and even then waited so long to buy it so I don't know. I mean meh. So far so good day one. I think that if I finish this one I can even start on my day two book. My biggest concern is the book that I have that has green on the cover. Um I just think that that's going to take longer, so I want to get through as many as I can that are, like, get throughable. Does that make sense? Is that a word? Oh, dear. It's Monday. <laughs> So it's about 8.45 on day one and I have finished my first book and it did get a lot better. However, um, I feel like it's either like a two and a half, three star out of five rating for me. Um, again, just didn't really click with it in the same way that I usually do with these kind of books. Uh, I felt like I didn't love the ending. I did like the piece that was missing, but I didn't love the ending. So I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to shower and get ready for bed. And then I might start my day two book, which is the book that is supposed to include something that you want to do or have wanted to do. And I picked a graphic novel that <laughs> it takes place at a campsite because I always wanted to be a camp counselor and never got to do that. Or just go to a sleepaway camp that wasn't fifth grade science camp. If you had to do that, I feel your pain. But I think I might start that tonight, given what I said earlier about being afraid about some of the other books not being finished because they're a little bit longer, they're not YA, they just take, they'll probably take like a day and a half where this one I think I could get through half tonight and half in the morning. It is a longer graphic novel, so we'll see. Overall, good day one. I'd love to hear what your coin flip book was in the comments down below, if you finished it, if you're already so ahead of the game, if you're already so behind the game that I can empathize with as well. I'm sure as the week goes on, the realer this will get. That's all I have for day one. So, until tomorrow. Oh.